Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. Welcome back. All right, so this video is all about setting up a new binder for the month of November. So funny story, I started October in the Tyler binder. Then I think after about three weeks, I moved into the Black Anna binder. I put one and a half inch rings in it and switched into it. And what happened was after a week maybe in it, the bottom screw fell out. I opened up my binder, took it out of my bag, opened up my binder and the screw was out. So I was like, oh my God. So luckily it was in my bag. So the screw was in there and I, I tried to put it back in. It just wouldn't go in. I shared that on my Instagram stories when that happened. So then I took the one and a half inch rings out of here and I put them in my cognac and a binder. So exact same binder, just the, the brown. And so I just basically moved everything in here. And I've been in this one for a couple of days, I feel like. So then I was like, do I just stay in this for the month of November? Because I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of perfect for fall. It's the dark color. It's the, it's like a nice brown. Um, it's a beautiful binder. And, but I don't know. I don't know. It's, it, this, this came with a one and a quarter inch ring. So I put the one and a half and it's fine. Um, it closes, opens and closes. No problem at all. Um, my um, pages like I can open and close them no problem there's no like and I can just even when it's open I can just close it and you know the page lifters are amazing they keep everything together this the strap is a bit tight like it closes no problem but I do need two hands to kind of hold it down and then snap it in so you can see that it's 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 uh it's it's snug it's chunky and quite snug so that just gives you a look here uh, in case you're curious. And then the pen loop is bending some of my tabs, right? So if I push it down and close my binder, it's fine, but I like to carry a pen around with me. So if I put the pen in here, it's going to um, squish my tabs. If I put a pen in here, which I'm right-handed, so I usually have my pen on the right side, it squishes my tabs. So that's where I'm at. I'm thinking, do I stay in this? Now the tab that it is squishing, if you can see this, it's this one here, it's bending forward now. And it's not a tabbed divider. It's one that I made on these um, transparent, although it's black, it's not really trans transparent, but they're the transparent page flags from Cloth and Paper. And I just used my label maker and I made a subsection in my business tab. I have three subsections. So because of where this is, it's affecting the pen loop. I suppose I could move it. I could move it down, but I don't like, I wanna be able to see all my tabs. I don't want them all to be on top of each other. So um, anyways, planner problems. I know you guys can relate. So then as a joke, Ryan, <laughs> You know when you have a child and you're like, if they're quiet, it's usually because they're up to something? Well, it's the same with my husband. He's quiet. He went upstairs for something, which is where my desk is. I'm like, what's he doing? Comes down, whatever, we watch our show. I come up and he had all my inserts in here. <laughs> what a guy. Um, oh my, I just laughed so hard. And he, he doesn't like this binder. So he was like, I don't like the brown. So I moved you into the blue one. <laughs> He's hilarious. I'm like, but blue, it's a beautiful binder. This is the Olivia binder, um, which they don't sell anymore. This was um, a limited edition, I think from the spring catalog, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Anyhow, <clears throat> so then he got me thinking. I remember being in this binder at the beginning of summer and I love it. It comes with these gold one and a half inch rings. It is simulated leather. I do prefer real leather, but it feels so good. It's so smooth and soft and I thought, you know what? It reminds me of the beach. We're heading into the month of November. We turn our clocks back um, in November, which means it starts to get dark at 530. Uh, it's a dark month. There's no long weekends, no stat holidays. It's a long month. So I thought, you know what? This could be good to brighten up my month, right? So that's what I'm thinking. The Olivia binder. 
but then I'm torn because I have these amazing vintage auroras that are perfect for fall right this was the teal from 2017 which is more green I haven't used this since last December because it, it looks so green I thought it's it's perfect for uh, Christmas right and this is where I just keep all of the inserts and stuff that I'm not using uh, so I thought okay there's this one but then there's the um, blue mirage and then my absolute favorite is the plum plumera so I'm torn you guys so I just thought you know what I'm gonna just film because I usually do film my binder setup each month and I figured if I film it and talk through it like think out loud while filming it might help me it might help me I was in this one for one month and I actually didn't love it um, I don't you can't see it probably from from the view that you're watching but it it looks higher um, it, it might not be but it just I remember when I was using it it felt bulkier it felt heavier and I just wasn't in love with the color believe it or not um, I love it to like when I look at it I think oh this is so beautiful but when I have my inserts in it maybe it's the inserts and the dividers I had in it, in it at the time I don't know I just wasn't in love with it so I thought well maybe I'll give this another chance and then this one is just perfection it's like my blush pink vintage Aurora it's just perfection so then do I move into this one ah uh, I wish you guys could I wish I could hear your thoughts as I'm talking through this. Okay, so what to do, what to do. And I do have um, my black Teresa Collins that I could put one and a half inch rings in here. One and a half inch rings do very well with the Teresa Collins binders. They come with the one and a quarter inch gold rings. Um, but my blush one, I've put the one and a half and they work beautifully. So I could just keep my black and white theme and just move right into this one. Believe it or not, I have not used this yet. This has never been used. It's been sitting on my shelf. I opened it to, to do my unboxing when I got it. And then it's just been sitting on my shelf. And it is so gorgeous. And I don't, I don't know why I just haven't used it yet. So I could go in this one and just keep my black theme going. Huh. Oh gosh, what to do, what to do. You know what? Mm, I may change my mind in a couple weeks. So I probably won't film it if I do change binders. But if you follow me on Instagram, I will show pictures and I will show it in my stories. You can see there. But I might go into this one for November. And then all I'm doing is like I'm keeping everything the same. I, I'm, I'm really liking the black and white theme. I, I'm not done with it. I just subscribed today to the Jeans Agenda box, subscription box, and it will be the November theme. I think it's the November or the December themed box. I don't remember. If it's December, it'll be like Christmas type decor with their uh, dividers and such. So that will influence the binder I move into for the month of December. But anyhow... I, yeah, I'm not quite done with this black and white theme. It's gorgeous. I'm loving it. So why don't we do that? So what I'm going to have to do. Oh, but this binder is so beautiful. Okay, if you're a child of the 80s, you went to school in the 1980s, you may remember something called Finder Binder. And Ryan says this reminds him of the finder binder, like the, the, the texture, the feel of it, and even the color. Um, I used to love the finder binder. Going back to school shopping at the end of August was always so exciting. And I remember getting my finder binder for the year and just loving it. So the finder binders were full letter size, obviously. Um, and they had, they were various colors but this type of shade and texture and it had a flap the full not not a strap but like the full you know um length of the binder and it was like a velcro so this kind of <laughs> said he, it reminds him of the finder binder i thought that was hilarious he's like that could work because 
you know, fall is when you go back to school and we're still in fall and it's, you know, it's kind of like back to school. It reminds me of the finder binder, you know, that's when you would always have, you know, a brand new binder was for, for school, for fall. Oh, he's hilarious. So let's take these out. Let's just see how it feels in in the Teresa Collins binder. I'm gonna put all my in, so I'm gonna move in. Let's see how it looks. If it feels good, I'm staying in. If not, then I will be <laughs> going back to plan A, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay. Let's set this aside. I should also mention that when you're changing rings, you want to use the screws that come with the binder. So these are the screws that came with the Olivia binder with these rings, but I'm not putting them in. I'm putting the, the, the screws in that came with the Teresa Collins binder. So I'm just going to set those aside for now. And move the rings out of the way. Now let's... Let's move in. Make sure I'm in frame here. I may have to move my camera up a little bit. Hopefully it's not too far away. But you can still see. Okay. Okay, I moved in. Let's see how this feels. First of all, I feel like it, it snaps easier than the the um, the Anna, and that's because this is real leather, so it's, it's more stiff and structured. This is, well, I guess they're both kind of, this is, this is more bendy. This feels softer than the Anna binder. This one definitely feels more stiff, which, I mean, I like both, so set that aside. Okay, so here's how it looks. From the top, from the side, and the bottom. Now let's see. I'm wondering if, and no matter what binder I'm in, if the ten. Well, no, the pen just rests on top. It's not pushing on my tabs. So that's good. Or well, maybe that one a little bit. But again, these are just made with my label maker, so they're not they're not that sturdy. And I could always redo them. So I'm not sure that I'll completely get away, get away from that. All right, so here's the inside. So I've got my business card here. These truth cards, I got a whole bunch of them. And oh gosh, what shop are these from? Hmm, Elamon Paper Co. And I love them. And so what I'm thinking, I like that you can see the, the word truth on the top when it's in the card slot. And I'm going to put like an affirmation for the month something like that. I'm going to put that there so that when I need to pick me up or just, you know, a reminder to open or take that out and read it each day, it'll be my kind of affirmation for the month. I have these appointment sticky notes and then uh, to do sticky notes. These are from cloth and paper. I'm loving these tabbed um, sticky notes from Walmart of all places. Um, one is to do, one is today and one is goals. So I just put those there. I like how that looks. And I just mainly use those for um, like just a couple of things I need to purchase. So I just put that to do. And that way I can just rip it off when I go into the store, like that kind of a thing. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So it opens and closes very nicely, actually. Very nicely. Let's see if I have it open. Okay, this is a little bulky. 
I may have to move these into here. That looks okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is this so? It feels bulky here. Let's see. I do write in my binder without taking the pages out. Okay, yeah, that actually feels better. It feels more flat. Okay, so I just want to see how this... So it lays nice and flat. That's good. And then I can... I like it when I can just close it up and they don't get stuck. The inserts and the page lifter don't get stuck and they close perfectly. Okay, I like that. That's good. I like how it feels. You know what? I might... Yeah, I might stay in this. I might stay in this a little while. And then this pen I got at Marshall's. Uh, no, no, is it Marshall's? It was, you know, when you're in the checkout and you see all the, the stuff in the, like in the checkout, there was a couple pens. Um, yeah, with this kind of coppery, um, it's not like rose gold, it's like copper. I just, I like it. It doesn't really match the rings, but that's okay. I don't really have gold. Like I have this pen actually. And that's a nice pen. That's a possibility. Let's see what else. What else do I have that would match? Hmm. I just love gold. That could match. Except all my inserts are black and white. This is a really nice pen. That one could work too. Let's see, let's see. I kind of want a fancier pen, but I have some really nice ones, but they run out of ink, so I need to go and get more. There's this one, make your dreams happen. And the, what I like about these pen loops is it's very sturdy, so the pen won't fall out. It's not, it's, well, obviously I haven't used this yet, but it's not stretched, but I find, um, even same with my Teresa Collins one, because it's not real leather for some reason. Same with the Olivia, Olivia binder, the pen loops are so tight, so your pens are very secure. So that I like. So that pen looks nice. I have that one, or where's my other cute one? Let me just bring this over here. Ah, here it is. She designed a life she loved with a cute heart. But we need to make sure that they work. I haven't used these in a while. Okay. That works. Ooh. They both work, but because this one is gold, it matches more, so I will use this one. She designed a life she loved. There we go. Put these away. I will I'm gonna start my month in this binder so when I do so it's Saturday today when I do my plan with me tomorrow I'm gonna to be do my do my plan with me for the, the last week of October and then I do need to do my month recap and and uh, my November goals so I will be in this binder when I do that and then we'll see how the month where the month takes me I may I just might change I'm not sure. We will see. So there you go. Short and sweet. Let me know in the comments below what you, which one you would have done for November. Would you have stayed with the black and white theme? Or would you have kept the black and white theme in this binder? Or would you have moved into one of the vintage auras? I would love to know your thoughts. All right. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that wasn't too boring for you listening to my thought process. Um, for 15% off your Franklin planner items, feel free to use my code buy, sell, plan, save 15% on your order. And the new November catalog is out. So you guys should check it out. They do have some new binders. I'm not going to purchase any of them though, because I'm not in love with them. They're gorgeous. They're just not me. And they're all real leather with one and a half inch rings. So go check them out. See what you think. Um, but yeah, let me know what binder that what binder you would have used. 
So if, uh, if this is your first time here or if you've been watching and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, I hope that you do um, so that you will be um, a part of my community here and see all of my functional um, planning videos. So have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.